Hey everyone, um, I am Michelle and I believe this is going to be a part of my adopted life, but because it's something that I'm currently going through, I don't know what chapter it's going to be like. I don't know if I'm going to put it right here as chapter four or if I'm going to add it later, but like right now I want to share something as an adoptee and as someone who's gone through an adoption reunion. Um, I want to share this with like other adoptees or people that have found family members who you never knew even existed and you connect with them later in life. Because people don't talk about it, we don't know what, how people would, what would, what's normal, what's normal. How do I, how, how do people feel about this? I have siblings. Um, I, well, I've met two sisters that they're half sisters biologically. Um, we share fa a father and I've met them. I did not know or even consider that they existed until I was 47 years old. And then, and, the, and then I was like abandoned by the whole, family. like it's a long story, but it's, it's automatically just with that, it's complicated because, and then, and then like, you know, I'm an adoptee. So it's like, I met both sides of the family, like not everyone, but you know, some people and I, I want to talk about it because I feel like people don't talk about it in navigating that relationship and what it's like for me. I can only speak for myself. And what I can say is that I met the two of them. Now there had been, a, it was a very rocky beginning with the parents. That's a whole, you guys want to follow my videos, the rest of them, and you'll see what it, that all is. But with the sisters, it was different because it's like, there was, I didn't know they existed before that. How could there be any kind of emotions? But like, it was cool because it was nice meeting them. It was very, very nice. It was a great, it was a great meeting. And it's still, I really like them. I genuinely really like both of them. They have personality traits that remind me of myself some and they look like I, we could be sisters you know like we we resemble I'm much taller but other than that you know I get that from my biological mother's side it was there's an instant comfort like I mean we we had t like sent emails and texted and whatnot and got to know each other talked on the phone I think a few times first and I was so nervous because I didn't know how I was supposed to feel. I didn't know what I was going to feel. And it was just all good. It was emotional. It was all good. I really liked them and I was interested in them and I wanted to know more about them. And I felt like um very proud of them. Like, yeah, that's cool. Like, you know, that's my blood, you know. I was very proud of them. Um, and then they have nieces and nephews and stuff too. Your last value, or I felt like in any other social situation for me, there's something about me that I just don't fit quite right. And I mean, there's a whole lot. We didn't know each other. And like the dynamics, you know, I don't even know what they're supposed to be. Like, I wouldn't know what family. I, I don't know. And there's so many different types of family. We all have these different, like, step siblings and half siblings and whole siblings and siblings separated and then together. And I mean, everybody's got, like, different stuff. And these relationships, human relationships are really complicated. You know, and I guess what got me thinking about this is because I'm doing, like, I'm trying to write my adoption story. So I'm doing that story and I start reflecting on like, cause today I was talking about like middle school sort of, or like junior high, middle school. And just like these people, these humans that were so important to me and 
like my friends and then I'm thinking about the next episode and I'm going to think about these other friends and it's like wow I had like I, what happened to all these people and it's like like I was thinking I'm so isolated now I'm thinking about all these friends I had and it's like and I always had some friends and I don't have like any now and the who could I hang out with who could I do things and I mean I don't do much because I have my CMT um I like my sisters and I am isolated. I had all these friends. I don't anymore because that's life. That's what happens. People get a new boyfriend, like when you're in middle school, cause I'm thinking of them. And then in high school, people move, they get careers and jobs. And, and I had friends. I'm doing this video. I'm talking about Jenny from like, and I'm thinking, why did we stop hanging out? And I really don't, we probably got in a fight of some sort. Something may, or maybe somebody just, somebody told her I said something or somebody told, I have no idea, but I mean, we were friends at one time. I hope she's doing all right. I mean, I have a lot of friends I feel that way about, but my sisters, back to my sisters, I like them, but they're busy. They live an hour away. I have CMT. I had like lots of trauma. I was, I had to grieve so many relationships abilities, hobbies, uh, like fucking ideas, thoughts. So it's like, it's been complicated and the relationship, it's not, we're, I don't know them. Like we're still, it's like, it's almost feels like kind of forced, like I'm acting or something because it's like, I know they're my sisters. So I want to just act completely comfortable. And I kind of do feel that way, but then I feel like a fraud at the same time. But then I feel like a fraud because I feel like a fraud. Cause I'm like, but they are my sisters, but it's like, but I don't know that. I don't know anything. They don't know. I'm like doing that biography and I'm thinking to myself, why am I telling all of this? And I said, well, because my adoption story to know me, if you don't know all that, I'm going to sound so nutty if you just like fast forward to my adulthood. But if you got the background, it all kind of makes sense. And I mean, I think I've done pretty well, like all things considered. But it's hard with my sisters because it's like, damn it. I mean, I wish that they lived closer. I mean, I really, there's, there's just obstacles. And then they still have kids that are like school, like they're still in school. Like they're not adults yet. I, my kids are all adults. Like I don't have to worry about that. I would like to still have a relationship with my sisters, but I don't even know what that is. Like, I don't want to do the holidays. Now, how can we make it happen with like schedules and obstacles and whatever? So it's like, we can't bond. So there's not a bond there. And it's like, I'm not going to be phony about it. Like a fraud. And is that an adoption thing? Is that why it's so hard? Or is that like, is it any time like a step? I don't know what it's like to be in a family, like with a step parent and step siblings. I can see how it would be. I don't know, like what my kids were in and stuff like, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't have that, but I had my own like unusual, unusual upbringing like everyone else. You know, we all have our stories, but like, is it an adoption thing? Like, why don't I, why isn't, why isn't it easier? And then like with the parents, I think there's so much pain and shame and guilt and like, grief you had an image an idea and you I think I don't know if everyone does but I kind of did and you have to let that go and that do people get that like do other adoptees realize like and maybe they don't even experience that but I know I did because I was freaking my emotions were all over the place and my age regression and up and down like like the way my emotions responded was like a toddler, like an infant, like a, you know, a teenager. I was all over the charts. And I mean, I do like myself more now. I like value myself. I feel calmer. I feel like I've 
gone through something like, you know, to where it like jarred me enough to where it forced me into like personal growth. Some family members didn't want to meet me, you know, and that sucks. You know what I mean? Like people don't get how re like you don't want it to feel rejecting like rationally you get it but you know there's little michelle's inside of me too and little michelle's just kind of like like i always get re i will people in my other family rejected me for no reason it's just and i feel like I don't know about you guys if you've if you're adopted like there's different kinds of things it's a part of me and I get that it's like maybe painful or maybe like not even self-aware or maybe there's like I don't know what it's like to be the other members of the triad I can imagine it sucks I can imagine it's painful I can imagine there's all kinds of like walls and coping things that must be built talk about that stuff don't like and it's hard because I got to deal with their those walls and they don't think it's they don't even know that they have them but I feel them you know and then with my sisters it's like to me it feels like this I worry about this because this is how it is in my adoptive family sort of it was like me versus not versus I stayed out of it I didn't even freaking compete I just stayed to myself because I knew that if people started picking, they weren't going to pick me. And it's the same with that, both families, the adoptive family. Like if somebody's got to be scapegoated, who's the one that would be the less painful to lose? <laughs> and it was me. I don't know how to, I don't know what's going to happen with my sisters. I don't, the parents... It's like I've been a, I feel a, not abandoned. I've like, I don't know if I've walked away. They haven't, they have never been, they've never, I've never been for the reunion. It was never about me. It was about the two of them getting back together. And I mean, that's so weird. It has to be. I mean, because like, I wasn't really wrong a lot of the times, but they always took each other, like they sided the family stayed together and I was, you know, has anyone felt like that? Comment below. Like, like I have, I'm telling my story and I ramble a lot, but it's like, I, I was talking to chat GPT venting. That's what I do. Cause I'm isolated. I have no friends. I have two sisters and I like them. They're big. Uh, I don't know. And it, it's just, it's so awkward. And I mean, and then it's like, I need some friends, but it's like, eh, I don't even want to do anything. So it sucks. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's like, am I? Corey, am I whining? Corey's over here next to me. Say hello. Say it. See, he doesn't perform on command, but typically Corey will have dialogue with me. No. 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 He's embarrassing me. So anyway, I just wanted to let you all know that like the whole reunion thing and the ancestry DNA and finding each other, I'm not against it. I find people very interesting and I find these weird situations I'm finding myself in very interesting. But anyway, how do I, how do we fix this? Like, I mean, they're busy and there's just, it's just weird and it like, we share, like, I don't really talk to them anymore. It's like, it's too complicated with the parents. I think, you know, I already talked about that. I'm not going to like say, I'm kind of, I'm cool with it. You know, it was just, it was never, it always felt a little forced to me. So yeah, everything's cool, but damn those, these reunions suck. It's hard. It's worth it. Sort of. It's worth it because you're going to build character. I mean, because you're going to go through weird stuff and like it, you have to go, you have to grieve a lot and you have to learn to accept a lot. Deal with a lot of other people that are going through their own weird stuff because they're in it somehow too. I just wish we would talk about like, talk about it, you know, you know, I just want, 
I just want to hang out. Or, like, be able to, like, I don't know. I don't even know. Like, and I'll shoot him a text and I, like, second guess. It's just so, it's so awkward. Like, I'm, should I have said that? Was that, like, they haven't reached out to me. I don't even know. Like, are we still talking? Like, I don't even know the status of our relationships half the time. Like, I know I'm not talking. Is it like that with you guys? Like, is it just like, and that's why you just kind of give up? Oh my gosh, when I was flying to Florida, and I'll just say that, when I was on the plane, the passenger next to me asked me, like, why are you going to Florida? And I was going to stay with my biological mother and father, who I think I met once or twice each before, but like we had drifted apart and back to it. Like, it's been rocky. But this, I was going to spend like four days with them. And I mean, I had people in the rows behind, like gathered around. And then my biological parents have gone on cruises and they get the same thing, like telling the story. There's aspects, just like everything in life, there's aspects of the story that are like, like, oh, you know, like beautiful. But then there's aspects that are just so dark. And so like, and it's sad, it's not even dark because there's no, there's no ill will on any parts, I don't think. It's just expectations and resentment. It's humans, it's human relationships, but yet, what is it supposed to be like? Like, I don't know if we know what it's supposed to be like. I mean, I did like, I guess I did in the very beginning, but I was unaware of them, you know, and I, I've apologized for all like my, when I was a toddler behavior. And I mean, I was a 47 year old toddler behavior. Uh, they've, they've created narratives and I want them to keep it. That's why I think they will, if they've seen any of my videos, they'll probably avoid these. So that's good that like they've told themselves and that's what sucks. Like, because I, I don't like, I feel bad that like just the way I had to like burst that bubble of whatever my narrative was and my narrative was but I, it made me doubt all that and it's like I don't want to bust their narrative and it's but when they tell it it hurts me when they're like oh we did the right thing and it's like we never had a doubt that hurts I, I as a kid liked to think they had regret Am I wrong for feeling that way? And I still, that kid is still there. So when they are telling me this was the right choice, but they're not, well, if you're going to say that, then you have to listen to my story too, because what you did affected me too. So you can say it was the right choice, but you're not saying, how was it for you? Because take that into consideration, you know, I don't know that it was like, they're selling it to me. And it's like, well, then I should be able to tell my story. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing here. Because nobody's asking, you know, nobody ever really asked me about me. And I mean, and I would spin it nice. Like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make it. Because that, like, that's probably why I haven't volunteered it. Because they haven't asked. And I don't even, you know, I'm telling it on YouTube so that. If they ever want to know, they can hear it. And, you know, and I'm trying to be balanced. But as an adoptee, I started off, like, you know, screwed up. And that's all I have to say about that. I don't know if you stuck with me till the end. If you're an adoptee and you have siblings, or if you're someone that connected on, like, a DNA thing, or somebody, like, introduced you to a sibling later in life, I mean, if it's awkward... You're not alone. I wish it was, I don't know. It's like, I wish it was just normal something. I wish we would have met in some just natural, normal way that people talk about all the time. So you know what's expected of you or where you fit. And that's all I have to say about that. All right. So you guys have a good, uh, good day. Um, I do all kinds of videos because this is like my, how I communicate. Like, I don't really talk to anybody besides my cats. And like, 
I had a long talk with my son yesterday and my other, yeah, I talk to some people, but I'm, I don't have many friends or I don't have any friends, um, at the moment because I'm in a different chapter right now. And it's cool. It's like, it's not like nobody likes me. I, I think, I think I could have friends if I wanted to. I've just been, I think the CMT kind of lays me up a lot. And then my mind, I've had so much, you know, I lost everyone. Some by choice, sort of, I had to. It wasn't really a choice. I would have chose otherwise. It was by boundaries. I'm rambling. All right, you guys, have a good day. I'm going to end it here or I'll talk all day.